This video was brought to you by Manco.Trade. This site allows you to instantly trade off your unwanted TF2 items for other various TF2 items. Any money that will be left over in one of your trades that you overpaid by gets added to your wallet which you can then use in future trades. They also hold pretty regular giveaways so the link to Manco.Trade will be down below. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're just going to be crafting some hats. Um, I've got 110 refined. I'm not too sure how many hats that is. It's definitely well in the region of over 30, so that should be pretty fun. Uh, we're just going to hope for something good. Obviously, the price will flash up every time we get something of value, but normally that's not the case. As we can see here, we get the Atomic Accolade. I can almost guarantee that that thing is not above 3 refined. But uh, yeah, I do like doing these videos, it just gives me like an opportunity to chill out um, and give away to you guys. So if you don't know, I give away everything from my hat crafting videos. If you'd like to see or, or be in with the chance of winning rather, go into the description below. There will be a scrap.tf link with an exclusive password that you can only find on this video. Um, just enter the giveaway to be in with a chance of winning. And also in the giveaway, there will be a few hats that are left over from the last hat crafting video. Because I don't know what it is, people seem to enter my giveaways through scrap.tf. And just don't check if they won. Like, the giveaways always last a week from when the video was uploaded. But I always end up with getting some items back that are unclaimed. So they always just get chucked into the next giveaway. Uh, we actually get the Sal Salvi Shinobi, which isn't too bad at all. But yeah. Um, so if you do intend on entering the giveaway, do make sure that you do- Oh, Jesus Christ, the Hetman's headpiece. Yeah, do make sure that you do check Scrap.tf regularly. At least within, like, a week or so. Um, after the video gets uploaded, but we're actually getting some alright items. We get the large luchador there, which is that, like, wrestling mask, like, Rey Mysterio type mask for the heavy. And then we just go and get the Wilson's Weave, which, wait, I need to check, actually, because I've always been unsure on the Wilson's Weave. I'm pretty sure it's an all-class hat. It's multi-class. Scout, demo, medic, heavy, NG. So not all classes can wear it, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I know it's, like, available to get in genuine form as well, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really too sure what to talk about in this video. Obviously, like, oh, the Chief Constable, that's a cool hat. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been uploading too much recently. Um, there is a very good reason for that. I Oh, the backstabbing boomslang, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's got to be... I don't know. I get the feeling that might be a bit expensive. But yeah, there is, like, a very good reason as to why I haven't been uploading that I'd, I'd rather not go into. Um, it's just like a very, oh, a danger as well, we're actually getting such good items. Um, it's like a very, like, long story and like a big situation, like, I'd rather not talk about it, but my mind's just been, like, elsewhere when it comes to videos, like, I've not really had any motivation or anything like that. Uh, Sergeant's Drill Hat as well, yeah, I've not really had any, like, motivation to just sit down and make videos, you know, like, it, it, it is, like, quite a lengthy process to upload every day, so I literally, like, just kind of wanted to like take it on the back foot a bit because uploading every day whilst I've got all this stuff going on and like my head's not really been in the right space for it so it's just been the best idea to like just take a step back obviously I'm trying to upload as consistently as possible but um yeah that's not always been possible but all the smock surgeons not bad but yeah like I'm trying to get back on track and like upload every day and bits like that it just might take a while to like get to that point where you know, I can just, like, sit down and record a video every day, but I'm going to try my hardest to get to that point soon. Uh, we get the whiff of the old brimstone. I have n I don't think I've ever seen that cosmetic used before. That's the thing with hatcrafting is, like, a, a cosmetic could be expensive. I'm sure that isn't a good example, but a cosmetic can be expensive, but, like, no one uses it. I'm pretty sure people do use the extra layer, though. Like, we're really not getting bad items in terms of, like, aesthetically. Like, the extra layer's nice. The Smithmas roof to get us in that Christmas spirit. Halloween's literally just finished. And Valve already getting us back in that f Christmas spirit as we get down to the 50 refined point. Uh, we get the crocodile smile. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm normally, like, with the key prices and stuff at the moment, i realised, like, I'm spending at the most, like, three keys on these videos, which really isn't much in comparison to, like, the unboxings I do, where I do, like, 10 or 20 keys. Like, it's really not much, and, I mean, I can give away stuff straight away to you guys from these, so that's always, like, an added bonus of doing the hat craftings. It's like, there's a lot of people out there now, through how many hat craftings I've done and how many hats I've actually crafted, that are just out there with a hat crafted by Pyro Joe. It's got the little crafted by... What do you mean the Frenchman's formals for the scout? Is that not a spy cosmetic? 
Um, but yeah, with like the little crafted by Pyro Joe tag, which is like, I don't know, if you're a subscriber, I guess that's quite cool. It's for the Scout and the Spy. I think I've spoke about this before, actually. Oh, it doesn't look too out of place on the Scout, I suppose. But that's definitely initially a Spy cosmetic, I'm sure. Um, yeah, that's really weird to see. Um, I don't know. I remember Valve went through like a period where they literally just like changed classes of so many items and like made different hats, all class and stuff like that. Like, I'm really not too sure what they were doing. The Ward. That's, again, like, I think the cosmetic prices at the moment are, like, dirt cheap. So even if it's a really cool cosmetic like the ward is, I doubt it's worth more than three refined. But I could be wrong. I only, that's the thing is that I only find out if it's expensive or not after this video is done, you know what I mean? Um, but what, since I've been doing these hat crafting and how much, like, refined I've put into this game, like... This whole time, I've not even had the- Oh, okay. I've not even had the ability to get a low craft. And I think it's been so long since Valve added in items that you can craft. Like, brand new hats or cosmetics that can be crafted. And, like, I don't know. It it's like there's no incentive to craft hats because you just get a loss every single time. So, I feel like if Valve introduced uh, a new ref sync to where, like, you can craft low craft hats. I mean, that might only last a day. But at least then it's, like, a day of people actually needing refined. Um, but like, yeah, the use for refined is such a big problem at the moment, and that's why one key is like 39 refined at the moment, just because like, there's no use for it, we get the Muse out cat, there's just like no use for refined at the moment, that's like the big issue with it, and I know Virtual C Economist has made a video about it at some point speaking, um, about like what he believes, so I'll actually leave a link to that down below, but yeah, like, there's no real use for, uh, refined metal at the moment, and it's, like, a huge issue in Team Fortress 2, and I think it's the ma the major contribution to the key prices, like, the reason keys are so inflated at the moment is because, like, what else are you going to spend your refined on, do you know what I mean? You can craft hats, which it almost always loses you money, but apart from that, it's, like, nothing, but... I don't know, like, I, I kind of went off on a tangent there, because I just wanted to talk about low crafts and how I wanted Valve to add new hats that can be crafted so I can just craft, like, a thousand refined and just hope that I get a low craft. Like, that's what I was hoping for, but, um, I ended up going on a bit of a tangent about the ref sync in Team Fortress 2. As we get the Western Wear, we're down to our last few hats, now we've got 14 refined left. We get the Front Runner, which has multiple styles. It's a alright looking hat, I suppose. Like, in unusual form, they're pretty popular. The Z Uber Mensch. Now, this is one of those cosmetics that is medic exclusive, I'm 99% sure. But just looks like it could go on so many other classes. And I'm pretty sure there is a moustache cosmetic that's all class. I've just forgotten what it's called. Um, yeah, I don't know. Either, either way, though, we're on to, like, our last two or three hats. We get the suit suit. I mean, it's so average, isn't it? The suit suit. It's such a bang average cosmetic. Like, it looks cool. If you put it in like the right cosmetic set, but in terms of price and stuff, there's no way that the suit suit is worth more than um, three refined. As we get, oh, the tartan, oh, a level 100 as well. Okay, that's a pretty good craft, you know. A level 100 tartan taloons. Um, this is like, these used to be really popular in like a, you could get a full set. I've forgotten what the set was, but like, it, yeah, these are a pretty cool cosmetic. I'm pretty sure they are probably less than three refined though which is a bit upsetting i'm gonna put the dark age defender on if i have it i do sweet i don't know i just really like the dark age defender i don't know why and on to our last half of the episode unless we manage to source another refine from somewhere to craft one more this is going to be our last hat can we get like a bruiser's bandana or a dead of night anything like that like please please the samurai, hey, it's really weird we get the samurai, actually, because I'd literally just put on the Dark Age Defender, and it goes perfectly with the samurai, so, yeah, I mean, we ended up accidentally making a full demo man set. I mean, that wasn't crafted, but we can ignore that. Um, but yeah, so this is all the items that are going to be given away, as I said, like, all the ones with a new tag, obviously, and more, because, uh, people don't claim the items from the last one. I'm actually gonna search in my backpack now. Um, Pyro Joe, and just look at all the items crafted by me. Um, so there's like a trash man, uh, a heavy lifter, a pretty pouch, a conquist, a conquistador, and a scarecrow that were all unclaimed last time. So those will all be in the giveaway. Best of luck to everyone entering. Uh, leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this video down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content, do be sure to subscribe. And one last thing about the giveaway is that, of course, it's quite a high percent of charting in the terms that, you know, there's a well over 30 to 40 hats here. And, um... 
it's like one hat per person. Like, it's not like one person wins everything. It's literally one prize per person. So it's always worth entering. If it takes like two seconds and you could get a hat crafted by me. But yeah, guys, thanks again so much for watching. And peace. My